Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make dough in the KitchenAid stand mixer. All the ingredients and measurements are in a link right below this video. This dough is perfect for chapatis and rotis. I'm using durum atta flour blend. That's what's most commonly used to make chapatis and rotis. To the flour, I'll add salt. Mix that in. Put the bowl in the base. Attach the dough hook. For dough, don't go past speed two. Put the flour and salt in the bowl. I'll put this on stir, add some oil, then we'll add hot water and turn to speed two to knead it for five minutes. Stream the water in slowly so you know how much to add. It shouldn't be too wet. If you're not sure of how much water to add, just check the dough. It should come together like this and you can feel it's soft. It's not sticky, but it's soft. And you can see there's only a tiny bit of flour left, so you don't want to add too much more water. I'll just add a drop more. And now you can see all the flour from the size of the bowl is incorporated into the dough. Now you can see it's picked up all the flour from the bottom. After it's picked up all the flour from the bottom, knead it for five minutes. It's been five minutes. You'll notice during mixing that the head might move a little bit up and down and that's normal when mixing dough. Unlock the head. The dough slides cleanly off the hook. It's very soft. Rub a little bit of oil all over the dough. Cover the dough, put it aside for 20 minutes, and then you can make chapatis. The best thing about making this dough is you didn't have to do any work. Of course, you can knead it by hand for five minutes, but some people find it too difficult or it's too hard on their hands, especially for older people or if you have arthritis. Using the KitchenAid stand mixer is the easiest way to make chapati dough without having to knead for five minutes by hand. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews and recipes. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.